And this was a classic Super Bowl matchup. I mean, I don't oh, yeah. think it's ever gone down to the wire like this before. Me and Mick Only were a few standing times, in the yeah. tunnel, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. And then the clock's winding down, and you're like, McKinnon, get a knee, get a knee, down the ball. All right, we are standing here with the man of the game, Nick Bolton. Brother, you played out of your mind tonight. What was it about that second gear? Yeah, man. Uh, man, that ball came out. You <coughs> swooped in. What's going through your mind? Yeah, man. Uh, I didn't even see the ball come out at first. I think he might have kicked it maybe, and it kind of blew it to my attention. Uh, uh, but, yeah, it was rolling after that, man. It's just scoop and score as we always did. Uh, I kind of feel like I was moving in slow motion a little bit. I kind of feel like I was moving in slow motion. So uh, I looked on the screen. Nobody was behind me, so it smooth down to the end zone. How's it feel to get that shoulder tap from 15? Yeah, man, it's great, man. Uh, again, I give it a good got a lot of credit, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's literally uh, the man of the hour. You also are not only a proud member of Chiefs Kingdom, but boy, that MIZ was trending. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, man uh, I think I found out in there I was the first one to score uh, Missouri history to score a touchdown, man. That's not a surprise. Uh, we got a lot of coach great. Coach Reed, get on in yes, here, sir. Coach. Uh, yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate Anything you, Coach. Anything you want to say to the folks in Kansas City, this Coach? This right here is a beast. Right yes, sir. Here. Appreciate it, Coach. Love, love you, Coach. Love Kansas City. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Super Bowl champ right there. You know, last one I got for you. Uh -huh. You ready to party at the parade in KC? Oh, man, yeah. Uh, I, was, I was down there, uh, I think, too, when I was in college. And when they first won. Uh, Congratulations, Thank Nick. You. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Y'all, it is so electric down here. So much fun. Get a quick shout-out from 15, a quick tap from Coach Reed. Y'all always know Coach Reed just had a big win when he got the big smile on his face. I bet they got a couple hot cheeseburgers in the back, too. All right, we got Mick Schaefer back. Let me get my man his headset. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> get some more players. I mean, whatever did, it takes. Hey, did Andy Reed photobomb you there? Yeah, Andy Reed photobomb. He said this is the man right here about Nick Bolton. Said he loves Kansas City. We're ready to have a parade. Yes. Absolutely. And this was a game you really couldn't take your eyes off of because the minute you turned away, there was another big play that huge return yeah. late in the game to get the Chiefs back up on top. I mean, just a classic matchup. There are players walking around, so if you're watching at home, we're going to try to grab some folks here as we can and bring them to you live during all this celebration. He is a professional at going and grabbing guys and saying, hey, you, you're going to be on TV now. That's what I do. <laughs> you know, but I will tell you, y'all, Chiefs fans are lining these end zones, just congratulating players. It's a family affair. Trent cool. McDuffie, Super Bowl champ, man. Yeah. How you feeling? Oh, man, it's a blessing. Um, like T. Kel said, it's time to party. It really is time to party. All this hard work we put in off season up to now, everything just unfolded as it should be. You know, we got a chance to talk to you, of course, opening night. You said you were taking in, soaking up every single moment. What was this one like? Describe man. the feeling when that clock hit zero and you know you're Super Bowl champion. Uh, man, I ran over. Look, it was a battle from minute one to minute 60. Yeah. Talk me through what it's like. I mean, the Chiefs really normally mm -hmm. not down like you were late. Mm -hmm. I mean, man. Now, I don't want to get you in any trouble with Coach Reed, but what was the halftime speech? Oh, man. Honestly, they just said we've been here before. Mm. Let's just stick to the basics, do what we do, and we're going to be all right. Man, that red and gold confetti is flowing. It's Congratulations. Thank we'll you see you so at the parade. Much. Sounds good. <laughs> Guys, Trent McDuffie, Chiefs first round draft pick, making a big difference out here tonight. Appreciate it. Nice job, man. I never normally would boot you for Mick, but we're live. <laughs> we'll see you later, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, spirits are high. Everybody's feeling good right now, you guys. What a win. This was a nail-biter, like, all oh, yeah. the way to the end. And I think you saw the composure of a Chiefs team that's been here before. Y'all, I got Frank the Shark Clark. Boy, first of all, let me shake the hand, the man of the hour, Super Bowl doing? champ. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Blessed, you know. Uh, was very emotional. What is it like to get back? I mean, a lot of folks counted the Chiefs out, believe it or not, coming into this game. Mm -hmm didn't start the way you guys wanted, but you turned it around, played it tight. I mean, this was a classic. Mm -hmm. What was it about you guys' mentality as a team that really got you to this point? The biggest thing is just trusting one each other. You know, it's the Chiefs' kingdom. Absolutely. Speaking of Chiefs' kingdom, it was loud in here. You heard that anthem. Yeah, I heard it. I started hearing that arrowhead chop. What you does know, the fan base mean to you? The world. You know, when you can have people every week, you know, no matter where we go, we can go to India, we can go to Africa. <laughs> Germany. I think Germany. You hear me? Next year. Um, I think it's going to be Chiefs. King, Chief Kingdom, I don't know. They know how to show up. Last one There's I have for you. bulletin board out there. Last one I have for you, man. We know y'all enjoyed that parade a few years ago. Yeah. You ready to do it again? I'm ready. 
<laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. It's going to be lit. You know what I mean? Uh, round two. Round Frank two. Frank the Shark Clark, thank you for the I'll time. Congratulations. There. I appreciate it. Super Bowl champion. I'll let you celebrate. There you go. <laughs> we got to give it up, man. You know, there have been a lot of folks talking about the fact that this game did not start the way they wanted. And just that, that calm composure, y'all, I think is why you see all this red and gold confetti out here. So we're going to send it back to you. I see Carlos Dunlap. I got to get out here and get some more folks. Bring them to the people. <laughs> The Speaker of the House remains undecided for the second night in a row. Lawmakers reconvened three hours ago, then voted to adjourn until tomorrow. Well, it's always a tough work week after the holidays, Mike, <laughs> and we're all looking ahead to the weekend, but you're tracking a storm for Saturday? I am. There's a local organization focuses on Commotio Cordis as they write safety guidelines for sports across the board. KSHB 41's Leslie Delasport talked with the group. A local family tells us they finally got their bags from Southwest today after last week's cancellations. The airline announced it started shipping luggage to travelers on top of its refunds, reimbursements, and $300 in flyer points. We checked back in with two families today. Both were impacted by the cancellations last week. One of the families ended up spending about $700 to rent a car and drive home. Poison control centers in the U.S. are receiving more calls of kids accidentally eating edibles. A study published this week shows those calls rise more than 1,300% in just four years. And with recreational marijuana sales just over a month away in Missouri, we wanted to take a look at what this problem looks like here. Part of the issue is some of the packaging can look like candy. The State Department of Health and Senior Services will require any type of marijuana to stay in childproof packaging, even at home. There are some other ways to stop kids from taking cannabis. Missourians voted to approve recreational marijuana in November during the midterm election. It was Amendment 3. The state started to draft rules right out of the gate, November through February. They have until next month to finish. You can now own three ounces of marijuana. The state will also start reviewing those permits, right? They've reviewed old cases and dispensaries can apply for those permits. We have had some outstanding weather for January, in my view. Mm -hmm. No, I think if you compare it to average, absolutely. If you compare it to where we were come around Christmas and... I mean, that's, yeah. we knew that wasn't going to last. Yeah, no, that doesn't last. <laughs> and you know this isn't going to last either. No. I can't tell you how many people have stopped Kevin and I just to say hi, let us know that they've been watching, and that they're just stopping in to check <laughs> things out and see how it's looking. And I will tell you, it's been moving so smoothly. Staff here tells us they've had to have people on hand to tell people how to get through security because the lines have been so short. Well, even as the new terminal officially opens to travelers, there are job openings. Ten businesses right here at the new KCI open before 5 a.m. <laughs> Mayor Quentin Lucas is joining us, and he's excited, but I don't know if he's quite as excited as Kevin Holmes about the new Man. terminal. You know, one of the things that we heard from Justin Meyer, you know, deputy yep. director with the aviation department, one of the, the problems, shall we say, restaurants are running out of food. Six they were surprised at how much food they were serving <laughs> right. on day one. Um, 16 pounds of what was it, bell the peppers? Ran, the barbecue spot ran out of 16 pounds of bell pepper today. That tells you. And, you know, one of the things that struck me was the diversity of people yes, and right. people who had been involved in this journey so much and so many years along the way. What was it like? Because to me, it kind of felt like a family reunion yesterday. You know, it, it was. So they're telling us to wrap, but I just got to ask you one more question. People at home don't realize <laughs> Quentin Lucas and I used to go round for <laughs> yeah, round I, I, on the process I, to get this terminal right. done. Yeah. More local people, minorities, mm. women. You already kind of touched on that, but what is this day like to you to finally be here and it's open? You know what? It is. It is amazing. KSHB 41 News reporter Leslie Delaspore has been talking to passengers. She's live here at the terminal for us tonight. Let oh my gosh! And I talked to the deputy director of the aviation department. We've been talking for years now, but this was a special interview because this is somebody who really advocated for this project from day one in the thick of it until <laughs> now. <laughs> When Kansas City International Airport came under TSA scrutiny years ago, the response was a simple one. These are issues that need to be addressed now, no matter what happens long term with the terminal. Back in 2016, there was a battle over the future of KCI. A new single terminal was approved in 2017, and a year ago, we got an exclusive glimpse inside. Tell me some of the things that people are going to see and experience in this terminal that we don't already have. Yeah, well, it's a long list, yeah. Tons of local restaurants, upgraded restaurants, rooms, a USO, sensory space, and a lot more room. These are huge spaces. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, significantly more seats per gate area than what we have today, simply because we were able to design it larger. With just days before the doors to the new KCI open, I sat down with a man who has been there every step of the way. What has the response been from the partners who have gotten the opportunity to check out the progress? They're just elated. Justin Meyer, Deputy Director for the Kansas City Aviation Department. There's a lot of going back and forth about what it's going to cost and the timeline and the schedule. Today, on time and on budget, maybe even a little early. Incredible to, to think that we're at this point where uh, what seemed like dreams in those community meetings and the vision sessions where we're just asking people, what do you want? What do you want it to be? And we're hearing things like convenient and of Kansas City uh, and to be able to look out the window and see that uh, come to life in a structure is really just beyond words. What would your message be for Kansas Cityans of all kinds, those who were initially super supportive, those who were skeptical, even those who were resistant as we get ready to open up the new terminal? I think the front door that we're going to have and deliver for Kansas City is just spectacular. And regardless of your perspective uh, before or after and how you voted in November of 2017, I think what we'll deliver is a project uh, that's going to be something that Kansas City is going to be proud of for, for generations to come. And I think you have this moment where you say, wait, this is Kansas City International <laughs> Airport now? I think it may take a little getting used to for folks, and I think that's normal. And for travelers landing in Kansas City today, this new terminal was quite the sight to take in. Indeed it was. Kevin Holmes and I are coming to you live from the new single terminal at KCI. And no, we're not going on vacation. Uh. HB 41 News. <sighs> yeah, I'm drinking a lot of water because there are many more bathroom options here at the new KCI. And one of the many things I noticed, Steel Wall. I don't have anything to add after that. Y'all, I'm just gonna say things are running smoothly, including the bathrooms, apparently. <laughs> Caitlin, we're gonna send it back to you, girl. Save me. Kevin, do we need to buy you a water bottle? Something a little sleeker, maybe for on set? Well, we'll pitch in here at the station. <laughs> we're keeping it classy, guys. Keep yes, it classy. Thank you. Kevin there's going to be a concert right after the Chiefs' first pick if they stay at number 32. We're still waiting to find out who the headliners will be. Y'all know I asked. She told me nothing, so stay tuned. Kansas City is on the clock. The NFL Draft will be here April 27th through the 29th. It's free, but be sure to download NFL One Pass. It's going to be updated for the 2023 Draft next week, March 15th, actually a week from today. Remember, you can always get the latest updates at KSHP.com. The FBI is now offering a reward to help find a missing 13-year-old boy in Kansas City. Jaden Robker was last seen February 2nd near Northwest Plaza Avenue and Plaza Drive. That's in the Northland near US 169 and Inglewood Road. Robker is 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighs 127 pounds. He was wearing a green camouflage hoodie, some gray sweatpants, and black Puma tennis shoes. He was riding his black Razor skateboard. You may remember we told you last night at 10 about a thief who stole an ambulance from Research Medical Center. When they tried to speed off, they hit four vehicles and a tree, seriously injuring two other drivers. Today we talked to the Kansas City Assistant Fire Chief about it. He says this theft kept a team of first responders from working for a period of time when they could have been helping people. All right, so it's raining threes on the court, kind of like when Kevin Holmes shoots, but it's also right. raining outside. At least it will be tomorrow, right? Did nope. you do that for Dia's benefit? Come on, man. They're right. No, I can shoot that rock. She just wants none of it. All right. It's severe weather wear this week. <laughs> uh, we yeah, not, you, you better watch out for lightning strikes. You know they say that's what happens when you start telling stories. Oh, and it is lightning today. <laughs> 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 oh. Wow. Right before come back. I'm sorry. I just trash I'm, talk make I'm a break. I'm professional, yeah. though. Oh, I know you did not get on this here news set. Anyway, this is the night, Mike. They just want to cut up.